Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the DNS probe finished and no internet error you might be getting in your Google Chrome web browser. So usually this error would be associated with your internet connection and firewall settings. And in the event that this error occurs, I'm going to be going over how to hopefully resolve it for you guys. So pretty straightforward here. We're going to start by right clicking on the start button. And then we're going to left click on where it says command prompt and then in parentheses admin. So left click on that. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. Now in our command prompt, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash release. And then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that, you're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash all and then hit enter again. Once you're done doing that, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should be a one word. Keep that in mind and there should be no space in between the forward slash and the flush DNS. Just a space in between the ipconfig and the forward slash. So then just hit enter on your keyboard. And then once you're done doing that, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that, now you want to type in NET. So just be patient there, it'll take a second to run that command. Once you're done doing that, type in NET SH space INT space IP space set space DNS. So, it's, so it should say NETSH or NET int IP set DNS. Keep in mind there should be spaces in between all this stuff. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that and that command runs successfully, you want to type in NET SH space Winsock space reset. Then hit enter again. Please note you're going to have to restart your computer in order to complete the reset. So I'm going to restart my computer here by closing out the command prompt window first close out of any windows you might have open on your computer or desktop. And I'm going to restore the computer here and then we're going to resume the video once the computer has restarted. So we're back from restart. At this point I would check your internet connection and see if you're having any difficulties anymore. Um, if your problem has been resolved that is great. You do not need to keep watching this video. However, if you're still having issues, there's a couple more steps we're going to go through to hopefully fix this for you guys. And we're going to start by heading over to Start Menu. And we're going to type in Network and Sharing Center. Should be listed right above Control Panel on Windows 10. On Windows 8 and earlier, it should not say Control Panel here. So just left click on that. In the Network and Sharing Center, left click on Change Adapter Settings on the left side. Now select whatever connection that's on this window that you believe to be your primary internet connection. And then left click on Properties. In this new window, you want to left click on Internet Protocol Version 4. So left click on it once. And then left click on Properties right here. Now at the bottom where it says obtain DNS server address automatically, left click on the selection underneath that says use the following DNS server address. And now with the preferred DNS server, type 8. And then using your mouse, click into the second area and type 8 again, 8 and 8. And then the alternate DNS server, type 8.8.4.4. Please keep in mind um, I'm doing one number per area, so you can actually type up to three numbers per section. You do not want to do that. You will not be getting the right DNS server address and your internet will still not work. So please keep in mind this is actually a Google DNS server address, so it's perfectly safe. Uh, once you're done typing that in, make sure you type it exactly how it appears on the screen. Left click on Validate Settings upon Exit and then click on OK. And then you can close out of your properties window. Now you might be running a troubleshooting scan. Uh, Windows might launch that just to make sure your network settings have been not compromised. In most cases, it should say do not detect anything.
So if you want to actually view more detailed information, you can click on this little hyperlink at the bottom here, and it'll give you more information about exactly what was scanned and so forth. But we are going to just click on Next to get out of here. And then try your internet connection again. If that still did not work, um, what I'd recommend doing is finding out what your network adapter is and going online and manually downloading the driver onto a flash drive on a different computer or tablet device and then transferring it over using a USB flash drive. Or if your intranet is still working, then you could maybe share it between different computers on your network. I'm not sure exactly if you're having problems connecting between different devices or it might just be just the internet and then you would just manually download and install the network adapter driver and you would find out what your driver is by going into the start menu and then typing in device manager should be listed right above control panel on Windows 10 so left click on that So underneath Device Manager, you're going to go to where it says Network Adapters here. And then left go on the little drop down arrow on the left side. You'll see whatever your network adapter is listed here. You want to look this up online to see if you can find um, your adapter. It will be different depending on your hardware's manufacturer. So it will not be the same as it appears in this tutorial, unless for some reason you are using a virtual machine on the same host computer that I'm using it on or with the same processor but that's besides the point uh, once you find and download the driver all you have to do to install it is right click on this current network adapter that's listed here left click on update driver software left click on where it says browse my computer for driver software locate and install driver software manually should be the second option on this list and at this point you would just locate your driver software by clicking on the browse button and you can navigate the path to whichever location you save the drive to. Preferably it would be the desktop or you could actually access a flash drive through here as well. So just keep that in mind and then you would just go through the process of installing the driver software and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.